Hello, and welcome to my presentation, They Don't Make Them Like They Used To, a look at how media have changed over time. My name is Taylor Funk, and this presentation is based on an interview I did with my grandma about her experience with media throughout her life. We all know that the way we consume various media is ever evolving at an increasingly rapid pace. Technology today is miles ahead of technology even just 20 years ago at the turn of the century. But the media we consume has changed in other ways as well. One of the most notable differences is in the content of the media. First, we will be talking about music. The way my grandma described it, music back when she was a kid was more happy. It made you want to get up and dance, and dance they did. There are a lot more genres of music nowadays, so people like more and more individual and unique mixes of music. Additionally, music listening is a much lonelier affair. People tend to listen with headphones or on the radio during their morning commute. My grandma said that when she was growing up, her parents would always dance to their record player in the living room and that they would have dance parties with their friends on the weekends. She also described that when her and her friends would go hang out by the river, they would turn on the radios in all their cars to create a surround sound stereo effect. Next is movies. Movies in the past were not, a violent, not as violent or sexual as movies are today. Their gore was not as explicit, and the rare intimacy was suggested, not shown. Going to the movie theater was much more of an event than it is now. It was a cherished special occasion, a night on the town or in the city. My grandma has many fond memories of going to the Paramount Theater in Seattle or the Drive-In Theater in Kashmir. The standards for what is acceptable to be shown in movies has lowered significantly, and fewer movies have a solely feel-good vibe. In the age of streaming, people have virtually any movie at their fingertips. They don't need to go to the theaters to see the newest releases, and even when they do go to theaters, it's not necessarily as much of a special occasion as it once was. Lastly is television. Watching TV used to very much be a family affair. My grandma recalled that nearly every time the TV was on, the whole family was around, usually eating their dessert. The shows that were on tended to promote good values and morals, and they almost always had a happy ending in a way that today's TV shows don't. My grandma remembered that in medical shows, as a specific example, people rarely died, and when they did, it wasn't young people. It was older people who had already lived a long life. Nowadays, there are so many different TV shows that appeal to such a variety of tastes. Watching television is a much more individualized thing. Each person in the family has their own favorite shows that they watch. Overall, TV shows have a much more dramatic tone, and they don't feel the need to have a happy, neatly tied up ending with each episode or season. It's hard to say whether society reflects changes in the media, or changes in the media reflect society, but the fact that media has changed is undoubtable. It is going to be so interesting to look back when I am a grandma and see how much each kind of media has changed over the course of my life. Thank you for listening.